Well, SES crews along with SA Police and the CFS have been working overnight to try and reduce the water levels of that dam, which is located about 500 metres upstream from the town of Echunga, which is in the Adelaide Hills, about a 40-minute drive from the CBD. We were being told yesterday by the SES that if they were able to reduce the water level by about 1.5 metres, that would go a long way in ensuring uh, it would become more safe and uh, reduce that risk of that dam wall from failing. Uh, crews have been so far able to reduce that water level by two metres. Uh, we do have uh, engineers on the ground at that dam uh, assessing the situation. The SES did say yesterday that there would need to be a permanent fixture uh, for this dam to ensure that we don't see uh, a, a recurrence of this situation uh, and risk of flooding to the town. There were about 30 to 40 properties that were under threat from flooding uh, and that, uh, that threat does still remain in place. There is still a warning out. Uh, road closures do remain in place for around uh, the township of Echunga. Uh, some cars are getting let in to help residents uh, move some of their belongings and to ensure that uh, their belongings and houses are safe. And Charles, emergency crews are getting ready for a potentially another busy day today. Yeah, that's right. We're at the uh, CFS uh, uh, station here in Echunga. There has been a hive of activity. There are about 12 uh, CFS and SES vehicles around me. They have been coming and going with uh, crews starting and finishing their shifts. They are going to be continuing to work uh, throughout most of the day uh, with engineers at the scene and still reducing that uh, water level of the dam. Uh, and that'll give uh, residents a fair idea of when they'll be able to uh, return to their homes. We are expecting a, a, an update from the SES a little later this morning. I just spoke to one resident uh, who has uh, been staying at a friend's house. He's pretty eager uh, to get back to his own house. Uh, but he said that uh, normally uh, residents in this area are preparing for fires uh, around this time of year. He said this is uh, a first for the area of preparing for a flood. Charles Bryce, thank you.